All right, so here's how I've been uh, breaking in my Novel Keys Cream switches because they are very scratchy. They are basically, um, I say self-lubricating, but it's basically a type of material. I believe they're palm on palm. And um, initially, without any oil, they sound very scratchy, people say. Um, they definitely are pingy from the um, springs. But supposedly, after approximately 100,000, you know, activations of the switches, uh, they become much smoother. Some people call them 100-year cream, hundred-year creams, or um, whipped creams. But basically, they're they're broken in. So what a lot of people suggest to do is you break them in first before you uh, you lube them. And then they'll be super thocky. So we'll see if that's true. Um, but basically, here's how I've been doing. Other than just um, occasionally actuating them randomly, the other thing I've been doing is uh, just flipping it over and um, either pushing down like this multiple times to just try to get that number up there. Uh, I also tend to do uh, a right to left motion and even a, a left left to right motion and forward forward to back. And what that does is it really it really gets that uh, stem and housing working against each other so they kind of smooth out in all directions. So. Um, the other way I, I do it to make it a little bit easier is to just grab it like this and actuate it like that. Because honestly, it gets a little tiring doing it like this over and over again. So I've noticed a big difference just from the uh, factory scratchiness to what it is now. And I imagine once I lube it, it'll be 10 times better. So. We'll see how that goes, and uh, we'll check it out uh, soon. Okay, uh, so I have three switches here. They're all novel key creams. This first one is uh, stock out of the box. The second one is broken in, so whipped cream. And then the last one is broken in, lubed with Crytox 205 grade zero, and filmed with desk key films. First up is the stock out of the box one. Should be able to hear a little bit of the scratchiness from the brand new palm switch and palm casings. And this is the broken in one. Should be much smoother. Even though it's smoother, you can still hear a little bit of the, bit of the spring pinging. And last is the looped and filmed one. Should be near silent. So much better. All right, if you could uh, tell the difference, let me know down in the comments. All right, thanks. All right, it's uh, time for that sweet sound test.
so um, overall, um, once you've once you've broken them in and lubed them, they're about the same as uh, like my Gateron, uh Milky Yellow Pros uh, lubed as well. Uh, the one difference I did notice is that um, with these ASA ASA profile um, keycaps, they're a little bit a little bit taller and uh, overall you notice a lot more um, stem stem wobble with higher keycaps but especially with these creams uh, I notice a lot more stem wobble compared to like the Gaterons um, so but when you're typing you don't really notice it so I guess it's really how picky are you so um, but overall, I think uh, now that they're all broken in and lubed, they're very good uh, switches. I'm not sure I would put them in the S tier based on some of those things, like like the fact that you have to break them in and then the um, the stem wobble. So I would say maybe A tier. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I think. Thanks for watching my video. We'll see you guys later.